Hi everybody, it's Andrea, aka Violet Kitty 411 and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to everybody who has been engaging with comments, likes, and subscribing. You know I do appreciate it so much as it makes this so much more fun with an engaged audience. So we are back in the Get A Life side of Old Town for the next chapter in the adventures of Yvette Corinna Glover, but now she's waits because she did get married to Woody Waits in the last episode. So let's go check him out. So he got back from work at 2 a.m. and he has everything he needs for his next promotion except for a good mood, both aspiration and motives. So we want to work on that by starting a date sequence. She's got everything she needs right now for her next promotion, which will basically finish her career. And that's great because then she can be a stay-at-home mom with vacation days and we're looking forward to that for her. So we're going to go ahead and have him do the date sequence. That way, when it ends, she can just drop the flowers. All right, so you're taking the lead here, Woody. Okay, so why don't you flirt with your beautiful bride and also talk to her about cuisine. And you both want to have a pillow fight, which you can't do because that's considered violent and pregnant sims aren't allowed to do that. All right, and she wants to take a bath, but we mean business here. I need you to make out with your wife, please. Okay, peeing is quite noble, but I need you to make out with her. Corinna, please, Yvette. Now let's put the walls down. And, oh, and she's where she's okay. That's fine. Why don't you make out? I've got a mod that they can wear regular clothes. Okay, you guys are making this a lot harder than it needs to be. There we go. Now we're both in a good platinum mood. That's amazing. Oh, you are hungry, and that's fine, but I need you to put out real quick. Why don't you relax and you relax? Okay, and woohoo. And that'll force you over and that'll, okay. Now you can go get something to eat. And always the grandma's comfort soup because we believe in battling illness in this household at all times. Why don't you give him a nice romantic hug? And maybe that'll give you a dream date want to. Nope, that's fine. And nice. You're making the bed. She's peeing. And that's the end of the date. As soon as you realize, okay. Give her... Okay. It's not really meant for two people. But yeah, have a good day. And Yvette, being the neat Nick that she is, has her scrubbing bubbles going. And why don't we get you dressed? I do have a mod that they can basically just wear their regular clothes, but they don't usually look pregnant. That's fine. She's going to work on her floral design, and it looks like Woody accidentally got a... Oh, yes, that's a great idea. Where'd you go? Where'd you put it? Okay, that's fine. Beautiful idea, and why don't you put that away because we don't want to lose that lovely soup. Thank you, and now let's go make some more flowers or clean that works well she's just all into the cleaning that's perfect we love that for you some of the cadets have decided to take the afternoon off and head downtown for fun they've invited Woody along but he's worried about performance reviews scheduled later in the day he could stay and study up on the police handbook or head out and try to get to know the cadets you know what you you really need to study here yeah, because you are so behind the eight ball. Go ahead and study. And later in the day, the cadets are called together for performance review, but the academy's captain springs a pop quiz on them instead. Most of the cadets rise to the challenge of the Inquisition, but when the captain asks what a 1642 stands for, no one seems to know anything about it. The captain asks Woody, and due to his recent studying, he answers that a 1642 is the radio code for regicide. The captain is impressed, and Woody earns one logic point. Way to go, Woody! And Woody has been promoted to police officer. Good job! 
and you have everything you need, a logic point and way to go and contributing. We love that for you. And since Woody doesn't have work today, Yvette's going to continue working on her floral design and he's going to work on his ballet and everybody is all super happy. Oh, Malcolm's calling. Chris is calling. And there's Bingo. Say hi to Bingo, please. Yep, Bingo can come in. And he's going to gossip with her. That's cool. And after Yvette did quite a bit of work on the florals, Bingo said, hey, thanks for hanging out. And now it's time to recharge, get you all hooked up. And now, Yvette, since you have to be at work at 10 in the morning, or what time do you have to be at work? Uh, yeah, 10. Why don't you ask Woody on a date? It's your turn to take the lead. Or, well, maybe he'll just... Okay, fine. You know, Woody, that's all well and good. I'm glad that you're clean. But, Yvette, why don't you ask him on a date? That's how we keep our marriage alive. I always like to start with a caress, and then a flirt, or a flirt, and then a talk, and then we get things moving. And now how about a f yep, talk about food, because everybody likes food. I mean, that's just a fact. You can hug him romantically. There we go. That should help. And how about make out? We're all about the make out in this household. Perfect. And here it is, 309. Right as I predicted, she's entering her third trimester. Boom. Okay, which means basically four o'clock on Friday. So let's have some woohoo. And now a nice makeout sesh, please. I like when you have the initiating sim starts the makeout, it usually gets the makeout and then rolls it at the end. But let's go in for the hug before the woohoo and yep, okay, so still more woohoo because I just need you to have a really stellar day at work today and now if they're tired I'm gonna let them stay there and cuddle for a little while and she's gonna get noticed that she's actually off for the day but at 9 a.m. I'm actually going to send her to work or okay how are you feeling oh do some do some ballet yeah that's a great idea and Yvette and the date please and you don't need to kiss him goodbye. I just need you to walk to work. And the cool thing about walking to work is she will actually get paid twice. She'll get paid one of her days, her vacation days, plus she will earn what she earns as a college dean of students. And while she's at work, Woody, you continue doing some ballet because that's great for you. And he wanted a point of creativity, and you know what? That's great for you. Okay, Halloween is approaching, and Yvette Karina always makes her own costume. She's not sure, however, if she should wear it to work on Halloween. If co-workers will wear costumes, it will make sense. Otherwise, Yvette Karina might stand out in a bad way. Should she wear it, or should she wear it? Yeah. Well, I got this card the last time she went to work, and I said, don't wear it. Today, we're going to wear it and see what happens. Yvette Corinna's costume is amazing and all her co-workers compliment her on it. There is a costume contest where Yvette Corinna easily beats all of the other contestants and wins 100 simoleons. Awesome. Okay, Woody, and you've picked up a point of creativity which you wanted, so now why don't you go to work and have a great day. Catch those perps. And Yvette is home moment of truth. Okay, she brought home money. She got him, got reached the top of her career and marry off six children, which is not going to happen, but cool. Congratulations. And hi, Samantha. Why don't you pay those bills? And then we're going to just have a party with our five lowest friends. Our five lowest friends and also Melissa Fancy, because I promised you revenge. I did.
We'll see if Melissa comes over. I doubt she will, but maybe. Okay, Melissa is here. I actually did not expect her to show up, but here she is. We're making friends with her because revenge is a dish best served cold. Oh, while walking his beat, Woody steps into his regular convenience store for a donut and a cup of coffee. The clerk gives Woody the coffee and donut free of charge, which in itself is quite out of the ordinary. And as Woody is leaving, he notices a suspicious pair hanging out by the dairy cooler. Something doesn't feel right, and Woody suspects that the pair may be holding up the store. Police protocol would require Woody to inform dispatch and wait for backup, but Woody is up for promotion soon and personally saving the day would look pretty good on his record. You know what? Let's go ahead and save the day because if you don't do something now, somebody could get hurt. Woody takes out his nightstick and charges back to into the convenience store. He pivots around the magazine rack and dives toward the suspicious couple who both scream out in surprise as Woody delivers a flying tackle, knocking them through the store's display window and onto the sidewalk. When the smoke settles, Woody quickly discovers that the couple are foreign travelers unfamiliar with the language and were simply looking through their travel directory for suitable translation of we'd like to buy some vegetables and cheese. Luckily, the pair doesn't press charges, but Woody is forced to pay five, 900 simoleons to replace the plate glass window. Okay, well, that's fine. And now Yvette is gonna go around and joke with all of her guests, and get a good, get a good party here. Thanks, Malcolm. <laughs> Talking about hobby is almost always received well. Perfect. A back rub is always good for raising relationship. Oh, second best friend of the day. Wonderful. Target, Frankie Mashuga, who is also your next door neighbor. Um, well, I guess maybe not. How about Mortimer? Uh, appreciate Mortimer. Or not. I guess we're determined not to appreciate our friends. Okay, there we go. We're having a good time. Okay. And we got to see if we can become friends with Melissa, too. All right. Another joke for you, Melissa. That's basically all I got to offer right now is jokes. Wonderful. And let's talk about cuisine because everybody likes food. And Melissa just crossed over into friendship category. Our plan is heading exactly the way I want it. And we haven't made nice with Rod Lang yet. He was kind of, he didn't like us very much for a while there. Rod, where are you? Okay, there we go. Great. And Oh my, the cops are coming. The cops are coming and it's a roof raiser and people are being told to, and plus Woody, yeah, you hit a financial goal. We're having a roof raiser, wonderful. And so we're breaking up the party, which is fine. And Yvette is also going to drink two sips of the elixir because I want to get her pretty close to the age that Woody is. Wonderful. And we're going to save that and probably use a little bit more later. And it is now time to ask your wife out on a date because we definitely, we're, we've got a baby due and... Oh, yeah, that's great. Ask her out. Oh, yeah. Baby should be born in about two hours. And let's get this started. party started with a flirt and a tickle. Perfect. Flirt and a back rub. We don't need to continue the conversation. I think that was an accident, but let's make out. And... Okay, dance, entertain, and hug. Okay, how about a romantic hug? Wonderful. And are we 
wanting some, I think we're gonna have some badonkadonk. And let's go for another makeout sesh. And this baby is due any minute now. And so I'm gonna save. East Street Angel asked if I was going to try to force twins, which I'm absolutely not. Oh my gosh, talk about good. If there are twins, we are still going to have a second pregnancy and it's only one baby. Oh, oh, stop. And it's a girl. One minute while I choose a name. And I am going to name her, thanks to my random name generator, just like her mother and her grandmother before her, Isabella Tessa. There we go, welcome to the world. And no time like the present, I need you to put that baby in the crib and then we will relax again. And Woody, I need you to relax again because we need another baby. But in the meantime, you are a stay-at-home mom. And we got another one on the way. That's wonderful. So that means at 9 o'clock on Monday morning. Perfect. And Yvette, I need you to get ready for your day and feed your baby, please. And originally we were supposed to have breastfeeding in The Sims 2, but we didn't get it. I think there might be a mod, not sure. And why don't you cuddle Isabella a couple times? Wonderful. And now you need to go about your day. So they're both working on their creative pursuits, him painting, her, oh, okay, there we go. Her working on her florals and kiss your wife goodbye and you have a great day and continue making that flower bouquet please and you are a stay-at-home mom so congratulations more flower bouquets that's okay it can honk its horn for all we care and oh take care of the baby yes you're pregnant already go take care of your baby please there we go fresh as a daisy and we'll feed her and then put her back to bed and she's just really enjoying this new phase of her life this is what she was made for motherhood oh woody our place looks terrible and you brought home a friend wonderful and you're now on the vice squad you go tomorrow and, oh, you need a lot of logic and cleaning. Oh, you're not prepared. Now, I had not used this yet, but we're going to go ahead and try the super fertility to see if I get twins on the second pregnancy. And Melissa Fancy is no longer a family friend, but that's okay. We're going to invite her over and greet her with a kiss, kiss, darling, please. Where'd she go? Okay. There you are. Thank you. Okay, so now I've got a project for you, Melissa. Will you please do my gardening? So she's asking and yeah, Melissa's gonna go do our gardening. That's great. And Woody has the logic that he needs. Now he just needs some cleaning. That's great for you, Woody. Thank you. She says, I've been on baby duty all day. Here you go. And I've got some flowers to make. And you're a good friend with Alvin Kobe, Cody. So why don't you actually just say goodbye, not to everyone, to Alvin. Because we want Melissa to stay and work on, work on our flowers and everything. And would you please change Tessa's diaper? She's quite ripe. There we go. 
Wonderful. And cuddle her two more times and then put her down. Okay, Woody, put on your thinking cap, study your cleaning, and why don't you admire Melissa? Wonderful. And now also influence her to garden again because she did not finish it. Hey, I'm glad that you're going to enjoy the cleaning. Oh, I did not even realize she has finished her floral talent. Let's make some snapdragons. Did not even see that happened. Okay, so Melissa might not be following through on her command. So we're just going to go ahead and hire a gardener, but that's okay. Yes. And it is now 423 in the morning. She's still wondering if she is pregnant. You are. And let's have another date. And you can pillow fight because although she's pregnant, you can pillow fight in the first trimester. And pillow fight because they both love a pillow fight. Er, there we go. Sure, why not? And I still need you to pillow fight because that's only going to be the... Whoa, you don't need to... Alright, yeah, okay, feed the baby. And if that's over here dancing, that's great. And pillow fight with her, please. Yeah, you stink. You stink. Oh, this is not the best date. And it's going to be a really crappy date, but Yvette has just been placed on maternity leave again. Way to go. And I think that that's a lot of progress. And they have 12 days to get it done. And so far, they're just making really good time. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you soon in the pixelated world. And that's all I have to say. VK out.